Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you an are you to your Pokemon Showdown battle. Now a little bit before I begin, I just came back from my vacation, awesome stuff. And yeah, now I'm finally getting another battle in where I have at least a decent amount of time to work on it compared to doing a million videos in one day. You know, sorry about that if you thought the video quality was a little poor uh, the past few days. But yeah, now I'm back. Now the only problem is, I apologize for the mic quality if it's a little more poor than normal, as my headphones are still in the luggage, which I will hopefully be able to pick up tomorrow. But yeah, besides that, this is a an amazing battle, let me say. But yeah, uh, this is a new team that you guys haven't seen yet, uh, made by my boy Nathan Blitz. Uh, Basically, it's centered around Medicham being really strong with pure power, kind of like Azumarill, really, except it may even be better with its having dual stab, but, I mean, that'll be for you guys to see. The rest of it is Lil' Gint being the special sweeper, Life Orb, Quiver Dance, Petal Dance, that kind of thing. And then I have Chinchino, the uh, Skill Link Scarf set, um... Excelgor with a Bug Gem, Bug Buzz, and that way when it gets unburdened, it's one of the fastest things ever. Then there's Steelix, which gets the rocks up and then a huge defensive wall. And then Hitmonchan is a spinner and special wall, and then it can bulk up. So now looking at his team, uh, Moltres is able to wipe out just about my entire team. So, rocks are going to be pretty darn important. So, getting those up as soon as possible would definitely be nice. And so that's why I have to watch out for that Sand Slash. Which, it can also get rocks up on my side. But all I care about really is to make sure it doesn't spin away so Moltres can come in at half health. Uh, the rest of his team isn't too big of a deal. I mean, Slow Bro, or Slow King. The rest of his team isn't really too big of a deal, but... I will probably need to find out the set of that Slow King, as even that could take some hits and wipe out a good portion of my team. Uh, Escav and Absol are strong, but they're slow, so I'm not really too worried about them, and then really same for Dredigan. So yeah, let's see how this battle goes. So I start out with my Chinchino as he brings in Sand Slash, and it is pretty obvious that I have Bullet Seed, but it's kind of risky for him to bring in Moltres as I would have Rock Blast as well. So I do decide to go for the safe Bullet Seed and it does do a nice chunk as he goes to the Earthquake which also does a nice chunk. Now we know he really needs Sand Slash still so now I'm just going to go for the Bullet Seed again though just to be safe and I do like nothing to this Escav. And he Pursuit Traps me which is pretty obvious so I'm just going to stay in really as Death Fodder. And I will be able to do like nothing to this SCAB. <laughs> One of those said I did 0%. Just shows how little I do. And now I bring in Steelix in order to get my Stealth Rocks up. And he brings in Slowking. And predicting like a Scalder Surf, I'm going to bring in my Lilligant. But of course, he does predict that nicely with the Fire Blast. So now I'm at really low health and I do have Life Orb. So I thought, well, might as well go for the Pedal Dance. And I do like nothing to the dread again, and I die from uh, rough skin and life orb. But yeah, now when I brought in my Steelix to wall, dread again completely, brought in Slow King, and I did a decent chunk with the Earthquake. So I just bring in my special wall, Hitmonchan, and I'm gonna bulk up a bit so I can do some more damage to him, as I don't really have anything that will hit Slow King too hard. But with these drain punches as being stabbed and giving me some health back. Uh, I will be able to slowly weaken the Slow King, and now my Hitmonchan will finally go down to another Psychic. So the Slow King is definitely proving to be a bit of a threat. I'm losing 3-6 the moment, this is not going well. Now I'm just going to go for the Bug Buzz to be very safe, use my Bug Gem, and that's fine. I don't really care if he has a Sucker Punch, so I'm just going to go for the Sled Bomb here, and that finishes off the Dread again. So now he brings in Escav, and finally, Focus Blast works for me. I guess he thought I was going to switch out, but nope, I'm going to stay in and get a crit with the second Focus Blast. Wow, about time I got some justice with that. Now the Absol comes in, 
and I really don't know if this was a good play of keeping it in. I could have went to Steelix, but I didn't really know for sure. Uh, so my XL Gore went down to a Sucker Punch. Now I threaten out the Absol and he goes into Slow King, and uh, my Steelix got a Toxic off on the Slow King, and this is very key. I need to figure out how to stall out a mixture of Slow King and Sand Slash. So after taking the Scald all right, like I don't take it too well, like Steelix doesn't have great special defense, but I do survive and I go for the safe protect as Toxic was wearing him down, but yeah with Regenerator he switches out, goes to Sand Slash, he goes for the Rapid Spin to get the rocks away. He knows Moltres is a big problem to my team, even though I only have two pokes left. So he goes for the Stealth Rocky, which is kind of a misplay for him and you'll see why in a second. But yeah, now he goes for the Rapid Spin, like the Stealth Rock isn't a big deal to my team anymore. Now, I'm going to go for the Rocks again, and I'm just gonna Toxic Stall, really. Uh, he's going to try taking me out, it's not a big deal. And now he's on his final uh, Toxic turn, and I'm just going to go for the Rocks in case he tries to spin, in order to get a free switch into Moltres. But yeah, now his Sand Slash finally goes down to Toxic, and this Moltres comes in, and I definitely don't want to switch out. And just goes for the Fire Blast, it will of course take out my Steelix. Now it's about a champ's turn. Very strong, and it's an offensive set, so it's going to be faster. Takes out the Moltres in one hit. Now can the Slow King survive? Nope. It goes down from the High Jump Kick as well. And I am banded. So Absol, can it go for the Stab Sucker Punch and kill me? No, I live with 1%. Oh my gosh, Metachamp, you do work. That narrow 1-0 victory. So that was an awesome battle, Jedi Cootie. Alright guys, thanks for watching, of course. Um, I am, like I said, back from vacation, so I'll be doing those normal videos, like always. Uh, you'll see me online a little bit more often, so if you want to challenge me, of course, challenge me. Feel free to. I'll let you know if I'm too busy or not, because I am kind of getting back into doing some more work after this vacation. Like, it never... It's not going to stop for a while. So, yeah, sorry if I don't have time, but don't think I'm ignoring you. It's just because I'm ridiculously busy at the moment. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.